Dublin was indeed a wild place. And there was reports of murders and rapes taking place in broad daylight. And atrocities committed by muggers and burglars. So it's coming up to Halloween in Ireland? Huh? Yeah, you're looking at Ed there. I'm on the other side. I'm oh. Andrea. Gonna be going around Dublin looking for the most spookiest, haunted, scary places. Now this is a story of a man who was locked up in the Black Dog Jail. Now the Black Dog Jail was located in part of the Torture! And some people even refer to it as hell. And in the Black Dog Jail was a man by the name of Oliver. Now he'd be tried and convicted of the brute murder and rape of a woman. And he was due to be hanged. But he never made it to the gallows. No. The night before he was due to be executed, he took his own <laughs> the dead don't scare me, only the living scare me. That is true. This graveyard here, this is Glass 7. Uh, it holds about a million and a half people. Yeah. Uh, it's a good few people from my family who were buried in there. I used to live around here and I used to go jogging in Glass 7 Cemetery just to kind of show the dead how great being alive is. So, this is the walk up to the Hellfire Club through this forest. Ed's found something. What have you found? Just mushrooms. Mushrooms? Yeah. It probably the equivalent would be like, you know, in Sopranos where they hang out in Bada Bing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. <laughs> it's a strip club of its day. Pretty much. Okay. So there would be a lot of like gambling going on. Yeah. Um, drinking, debauchery. And as the story goes, the men were playing uh, cards one night and the stranger came to the door and he was kind of looking for shelter from the storm, the storm or whatever. They took him in yeah. and he sat down to play a game of cards with them. When they were playing, uh, one of the men, when he bent down under the table, he could see that the man they had just let in, he had hoofs, the devil burst into flames, then burnt the place down. The devil's in the details. The devil's in the details. So, I just want to look at the details. Yeah, it would be pretty cool. Just looking out over the whole city, you'd feel like the king of Dublin. Yeah. Maybe that's why it was burned down. <laughs> Ego. Those birds. Oh. Oh. It's not funny. It's definitely a ghost cat, listen. That was a ghost fart. No, a ghost fart is this. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't called the the Soft Marshmallow <laughs> Club. It was the Hellfire Club. The Fireworks Factory. Yeah. Um, okay, so where have we been? I mean, we went on the... The ghost, ghost, tour. ghost tour, we were in Kilmaine of Jail, yeah. where a lot of misery happened. But it's actually a lovely place. <coughs> it's, a, it's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful prison. Uh, ironically enough. I mean, it looks wise. I mean, yeah. It'd be crap to be in there. But, but I mean, if you had to pick a prison, I'd pick that over somewhere like San Quentin or some <laughs> American penitentiary. Because yeah. it has a nice Victorian sunroof <laughs> that I think San Quentin pro possibly doesn't have. If there is ghosts, then that's great because that means there's an afterlife. Yeah. So that should give everyone hope. So why do people always say, why do, they fear? why do they fear ghosts when they should be asking them questions like, what's it like to be dead? What was that? <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs>